I was originally going to film uh, how to make this pen type uh, with the brick pattern uh, step by step and show you every single <clears throat> um, action I took to make it but one it would take forever to edit that and two I think it's kind of boring so I think now that I actually have most um, portions of the process created it may be easier to understand and more um, watchable if I just talk about the steps so the ultimate goal is to make a brick pattern pen um, that will have segments that look like this so those are different colored woods with veneer in between to make it look like a brick or, or bricks being built up the uh, brass insert in there um, I will show I guess the completed version of the pen now because the color contrast is easier to see with this dark brown wood, I'm showing this version first, even though it's not the multicolored wooden pen that you see here. That's a little bit harder to pull out the brick pattern with the camera. And to create that pen <clears throat> from the beginning is you take pen blanks of various colors, or you can do a singular color if you want. Um, Actually, I would advise that because with different wood types, you're dealing with different um, hardnesses, um, which makes it very difficult on the lathe, and I ended up having to just sand it down. But you're going to take each one of these and cut them in half lengthwise. So you're going to have two halves of a pen blank, and you're going to attach it to another pen blank of a different color. And in between those two layers, you're going to put um, some of this veneer. Let me get get out the veneer. So they come in panels like this, and I chose a really light color so it would show up between different layers. And what you'll do is you'll cut the width of the pen blanks and the length of the pen blanks, and you'll glue them in between. So you'll get something that looks like this. And this is a singular color of wood. I have another version here with two different colors. And you can see it. It's kind of hard to see because the glue has spread out over top of it, but when you lay it down, it will, um, it will show much more clear. Then the next step is, so if they're originally going to be this long. You're going to want to cut it in half or thirds or however long your drill bit is for your um, <clears throat> insert. And you're going to drill through the center of the pen blank with the seam running through it with the veneer. Then once you have <clears throat> a bunch of these created of all different colors, you want to cut them into little tiny segments, probably about a half an inch, a quarter of an inch thick. So you have a bunch of these little segments. And I did that on the scroll saw. Um, it'd probably be easier on a band saw. The, the scroll saw that I have is pretty old and it makes some jaggy cuts which makes the next step kind of difficult. So what you do then is you take your pen insert you scuff it down so that it, uh, the super glue will stick to it. You run a bead of super glue around the base and you put uh, one segment at the very bottom so that it lays flush with the end of the pen cap. And then from here, <clears throat> you'll cut another long strip of veneer the same um, dimensions as those little squares and you'll drill little holes through the center that are the same dimension. I just use the same drill bit as I used to drill through the pen blank. And you'll want to do that very slowly because this veneer will split very easily on you. So that, that takes, um, I'll actually put a little insert into the video here to show you. This is actually a fairly time consuming process because you got to do this very gently and you have to have a piece of wood behind the veneer so that it doesn't split on you. You also want to use a drill bit that has a really sharp point before you get to the actual drill bit body itself. I just use the same bit that I use for my pen blanks. And then I also applied counter pressure against the grain with my fingers in opposite directions to avoid splitting. As you drill, you wanna pull with your fingers 
uh, in the same direction as the grain but in opposite directions to kind of make it taut and then that limits a lot of the uh, splitting that you'll get and once you have a large batch of those you take the original insert that you had with the segment at the bottom and then you'll apply glue, wood glue down along the rim of that segment you'll put a segment of the veneer on and then you'll put another I like to pick a completely different color scheme on the next one and you slide it down the pen insert and you make sure that the the seam lays not in line with the seam that you have down at the next level so that it looks more like bricks. If you end up putting them all in line um, you get a uh, not very aesthetically pleasing um, brick pattern. It looks like you're stacking bricks up straight up. So you want to make sure that they're just slightly askew every time you put the layers down and you just continue that all the way up until you get something that looks like this. So then you have your raw material to make the brick pattern. You'll put this on your lathe. I actually found that it was easier <clears throat> or I, I don't even have a lathe. I use a drill press with a lathe attachment but I actually uh, found that using just a piece of all thread running through the middle and clamping it down really tightly on either side uh, and running it over with sandpaper was way better because with the lathe and the chisels the chisels would uh, cut much more deeply into the softer wood and it made for a kind of um, I don't even know how to explain that, but it would it would just bite in deeper onto that softer wood. So using the sandpaper and the pressure of your hand, actually I found made a lot smoother and a lot easier to control um, uh, sizing of this down to make the insert look like this. And now the <clears throat> because some of the uh, uh, wood pieces may not meet exactly. Um, together. I try to as much as possible by clamping them really tightly together. But you'll use some thick CA glue or thick thick um, super glue and you use that to fill in these gaps. Once you do that you'll sand that down and then you can put whatever coating you want on it. I'm gonna try CA glue coating on some of them and then a really hard wax coating on others just to see which one I prefer. I've never done either actually so um, we'll see how both of them go and then you end up with again the finished pen which I'll show a clip of here So hopefully that makes sense um, on how to apply it. I'm going to try to come up with a blog post on my site called basementandyard.com um, that will show pictures of the various uh, sections and it will be a written form of how to complete this pen type. Um, but I think it gives a really cool look so I think it's worth going through the trouble because it is a bit time consuming to um, go through all these steps. Uh, and actually this, so this is an example of the setup that I put in my drill press forgot to mention that so it's just the bushings with two nuts to lock it in place and then I would stick this into the drill press it would spin and then I would apply the sandpaper on the outside but like I said it's a very time-consuming process but I think it gives a really cool aesthetic look um, these bricks and then because of the different angles of the cuts with my older scr scroll saw uh, you see there's like some angles it, it does some really cool looking things I think um, and so these will be actually gifts for my family members, so hopefully they enjoy it. Um, but I'll probably end up making one or two for myself as well, because I think they look really cool. So hopefully that uh, explains how to do the process. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a post in, your, uh, a post in the comment section. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe.